intro to making a Google site. In this video, I'm going to briefly go over what you need to do to make a basic Google site. So you go to FCPS Google Apps, and then click on New, More, and Google Sites. All right, once in Google Sites, you're given a blank template. You can change your theme by clicking on Themes on the far right-hand corner. And then you can choose different themes and different color schemes and font styles, depending on how you would like your site to look. And you can also click on the paint can and choose almost any color that you would like to have included. So I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to do yellow, and I'm going to do narrow font. All right. So then I want to work on adding some pages. So if I go to pages, this is how I add new pages. Right now I have a home page. I want to change the title to welcome. Okay, so this is the landing page. So if you click on the home page, you will end up at welcome. I'm going to add another page called called Google Docs. This website will be a, I'll put some of our resources on here from our Google Classroom. So that page is going to be called Google Docs. And you notice the home page and the Google Docs page now exist. And you can see the banner across the top of the screen. If you want to change the banner from the top to the side, you click on this wheel and change it to side navigation. I usually prefer side navigation. And then the navigation will show up on the side. I'm going to call this site Teaching with Google Apps. Okay, so that's now the name of my site. That's not the address for my site, but it's the name. Now on my Google Docs page, I want to insert some things from my drive. Now there's many different things you can insert. You can insert text box, images, either from the web or Google Drive. You can embed files. You can upload files from your computer and include them. You can put page dividers in, include things from Drive. You can put YouTube videos, a calendar, a map, or any type of doc on each page. And that's just the beginning. So I'm going to put on this page, I'm going to say, please use the Google Docs HyperDoc to help you learn more about Google Docs. And I can change this text to be a header. I can center it. I can also hyperlink different things as well. So I'm going to put a divider in underneath. And I can move things up and down if I decide I want them in different places on the page. Now I want to insert the Google Docs HyperDoc from my drive. So I'm going to search my drive for teaching. To remember what I called it. Let's see if it comes up. Here's the first one we used. I'm going to double click. And I now have this document embedded. I can drag it out and make it full screen. Or I can keep it, I can make it small and put something else next to it. If I want to just give a snapshot, and if however you want to lay out. I'm going to leave it as a snapshot. And then I'm also going to put a video right next to it. Let's search for. Google Docs how to. Let's add this video. This one looks good. But I want this video to go right next to the doc. So you just drag it around on the page and drop it where you want it to be. And then I have my page set up. And then underneath, if I want, I can put in a divider and I could add whatever else I wanted. 
when I'm ready to add another page, I go back to the Pages tab and I click on the plus page sign and I add another page called Google Sheets. And you can make sub pages under each of these. If you're having students do a research project, you can change the properties of the page. There's lots of different stuff you can do um, from here. Now, if you want to work on this website with another person, you can add an editor to the site by clicking on the little person with the plus sign, and then you can invite particular editors. Now, when you're ready, or beforehand so you can preview it, you want to click Publish Your Site, and this is where you're making up your web address. So this is the beginning part of your address, and I'm going to add to the end, Teaching with Google Apps. Oh, this name contains forbidden words, so I can't do that. So I'm going to put, try something else, Teaching with apps. We'll just call it that. Teaching with apps and then when I'm ready I can click publish and now my site is published and I can see what it would look like to somebody who visits it. Here's my home page and then I can look at my Google Docs page okay, and Google Sheets. And then I can go back to edit mode. Now, every time I edit it, I have to republish it. Okay? And I can also unpublish my site if I don't want people to see it anymore. Now, you can also change the image and the header type up here. So I can change the background image. There's a photo gallery of images you can change to. Um, I think I'll change to this one. You can also search the web or your Google Drive if you have particular images you want to use. So I'm going to change to that, and then you can change the header type to a variety of different things. You can make it larger or smaller, or just have a title with no picture. Okay, I like the picture. So that's the basics of how you use a Google site. Um, the templates are nice because you can fill in the blanks, and it, it tells you how to do it pretty clearly. So I'm actually going to do one more thing. And I'm going to insert the, a calendar on the front page. Let's see. I want the one from our class, if I can. Here it is. So I'm going to embed the, the calendar from our class in on the front page of the website. So you can see which assignments are due with the agenda mode. And then I can choose if I want it to be... Um, how I want it to appear with the settings. View mode, I want it to show the month. Okay. So you could do this for your class in that you embed a calendar on the page with assignments from your class if you wanted to do it that way. All right. Thank you for listening. Please let me know what questions you may have.